Do modern games bore you? And buying them feels wrong? Do you still own a VIC-20 or Commodore 64? Then you are probably missing those good old days. The time where you just copied a tape or typed in a listing from a magazine. The days when software was hard and took real effort to obtain. Unless Christmas or birthdays, buying commercial software was never an option. Simply because your allowance didn't let you. So, with no money, but plenty of time, you were forced to type in the programs that were published in magazines. And only with one finger. Because you didn't learn how to properly type yet. Therefore it took days for just a very simple game. And then, when you thought you were finished the uncertain quest for errors had only just begun. Typing in those listings was no problem when you were young. But now, you are older and your joints quickly hurt or you simply lack the stamina for typing days on end. Having all numerical keys in a row is just pure agony when typing in large data arrays. Therefore, a logical solution would be a numerical keypad. You may remember that some cool kids had a numerical keypad on their C128. They had a clear advantage as it allowed them to type in those listings much faster. But you didn't own a C128 simply because it was too expensive. You knew that there existed independent numerical keypads for the VIC-20 and C64. But you couldn't afford them. So, you proudly called them devices for cheaters. And now you are older. And that proud feeling stands in your way. Because the reality is that you can't type on your normal keyboard anymore. So, what can you do? as you desperately want to revive that retro feeling. If there only existed a keypad that didn't work like a keypad. Well, this is your lucky day. Because there is. It's the perfect device for wasting your time with typing in listings. A device that clusters all keys just like a numerical keypad. But without the advantage of typing too fast. Therefore typing in listings takes just as long as it did in the good old days most likely even longer. Now, how is that possible, you may ask? Well, it's all possible through the wonders of the rotary dial and 3D printing technology. The rotary dial is an input device that you may also remember from your youth. But perhaps the true amazement comes from the fact that no old telephones need to be destroyed to harvest these obsolete mechanisms as it can be completely built using simple and modern parts. And you don't even have to be a whiz kid or clockmaker to assemble it. Although, these are just revolutionary details for the maker scene, how do you operate this wonderful device? First, you must remove the cover and install three fresh AA batteries in the device. Then screw the cover back onto the case and plug the cable into the joystick port. Now load the driver software and run it. The driver software allows you to use it in combination with your keyboard. Now dial a number and almost instantly you see it appear in the screen. Now, doesn't that feel retro? You may dial another number or press the enter button. But wait, there is more, because the shift function allows you to input other things than just numbers. So if you want to do a calculation, just dial question mark 1 plus 2 followed by enter. Now, how great is that? And that's how it works on the VIC-20. On a C64 it works just the same, but there it can also be used to generate the well-known DPMF tones. Thanks to the wonders of the famous SID chip. So now you can dial your favorite telephone numbers in a modern way while maintaining that wonderful retro feeling. Never retro computing felt more retro than this.